What's up guys, you know who I am, I don't know who you are, but in case I do know who you are, hi, how are you doing? Today's video is concerning two-stroke generators, well, the two-stroke generator by Harbor Freight, and just about any other two-stroke uh, outdoor equipment you might uh, have, and additives, or whatever you will put into your generator. And as you can see, I've got five things laid out in front of me. Uh, two are the same, which is the oil, but the rest are different. And I'll get into that right now. Now, what we have here are two different brands of two-stroke oil. This is the uh, Craftsman brand, and this is a Promix brand. The only difference being that the Craftsman brand is a synthetic formula, and the Promix is a half, so, well, the synthetic blend. So it isn't exactly fully synthetic. So what this, what these uh, two have in common, though, is they're both two-stroke oil, obviously. And um, what makes two-stroke oils unique, or what makes two-stroke engines unique, as most people know, is it's only two strokes. So there's only two strokes of the cylinder, or two strokes of the piston, um, every time. So say there's uh, there's only there's the um, it's kind of hard to explain. If I had a piece of paper, I actually could show you and make more sense. But, you know, as with a, um, a four-stroke engine, there's, you know, obviously suck, squeeze, bang, blow. That's, you know, intake stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, and exhaust stroke. Whereas this only has two because it combines um, two strokes, two of the strokes, two of the, no, two, two of the four strokes into two of them. So it kind of separates it down a bit. That's, I know, I might made, what I just said kind of makes no sense. But anyway, it's a much simplified engine. It's, there's only one valve in it, and that is the intake valve. The intake valve is located just after the carburetor, and it goes into the crankcase. So there's a lot less um, parts to get uh, worn on it, which is, makes them a bit more of a robust engine. And what I have here are Two different brands of two-stroke oil, a fuel stabilizer, which is this is this happens to be a Briggs and Stratton uh, fuel stabilizer, sea foam, which I'm pretty sure everyone is well uh, well aware of or well accustomed of, and something new that I just saw when I was in uh, when I was in the hardware store today. This is True Fuel, and what this is is this is a 50 to 1 mix. Now this this generator takes 50 to 1 um, premix, meaning there's 50 parts um, gasoline to one part of oil, and what this is is this is only this is already mixed. This is premix, so this is apparently high octane fuel, which is a 92 octane versus the 89 octane that you usually get at the uh, the pump, and also it contains no ethanol, which is I guess okay. I mean, it's a two-stroke engine, so it really doesn't matter. It doesn't really care, but. Um, the difference with it is, like I said, it has no ethanol, as it says right there, uh, ethanol free, and apparently this is designed specifically for two-stroke engines, which I really don't agree with, considering all gasoline is pretty much the same exact thing. It just depends on how it's mixed or what's in that mix of gasoline. For example, obviously... Some gasoline has, you know, E15 or E10, and even all the way up to E89, which is usually what's most common with, um, obviously, ethanol uh, vehicles or flex fuel vehicles. So, it's all the same stuff, really. It's just, it's how it's, it's what's put into it that what's what uh, makes a difference. So, what I personally do with my generator is I just use, um, I prefer Promix. Because what I have noticed, though, with the uh, Promix versus the Craftsman, is even though the Craftsman is synthetic oil, for some reason the Promix doesn't make as much smoke. Now with the Craftsman, and if it's really, really cold out, this smokes a lot worse than um, if the tank is full of uh, gasoline mixed with Promix. I don't know why it doesn't really make much sense, because apparently um, the... Uh, synthetic is supposed to be like the best 
out there, which apparently I don't really agree with now. But, and this also, this oil is has a uh, kind of like a bluish tint to it. I don't know why, I guess that's just a mo so you can tell the difference between the oils, but it has a bit of a bluish tint to it. Versus the uh, Pro Mix, which is just like a standard black, looks a lot like motor oil. But, yeah. So if you want, if you have a two-stroke engine and you want a, uh, a lot less smoke coming out of your exhaust pipe or your tailpipe, I'd say go with the Pro Mix. And as for true fuel, I haven't tested it out yet. This is a completely sealed can, so I really haven't been able to rate what the emissions are with this thing, if it's really smoky or not. Apparently it's not supposed to be, but we'll, uh, we'll get to that later. And then right here I've got... Um, fuel stabilizer. Now this is essential. I can't stress this enough. With um, a two-stroke engine, which usually is okay with running a bit of ethanol through it, it's usually just it's fine with that. But if it's sitting for a longer period of time, like say over 30 days, it will tend to collect water in the tank. Now I'm not saying ethanol is a bad thing. I mean, hell, I've got a go-kart that runs an ethanol and a, a uh, another engine I use for a generator. Not this one. But another engine I use for a generator that also runs off ethanol exclusively, E85. And there's no problem with it. But that's because it's designed around E85. These really aren't. So when it comes to a fuel that's got a lot of ethanol in it, such as E10 or E15, they don't really agree with it after a certain time period. So if you're going to be running it for, if you're going to fill up the tank and not use it for maybe over 30 days or maybe about to a year or so, definitely use fuel stabilizer. Now, this stuff I actually prefer over Stabil because. This is a um, this is much more concentrated. You know, it lasts up to freaking three years, versus stable only lasts maybe one year. So, I definitely go with the Bridge and Stratton uh, fuel stabilizer if you can find it. If you can't, stable works just as well. Just it won't last as long. And now sea foam, which everyone knows for uh, automotive reasons, which you usually use for your car, see if you've got dirty injectors or if your engine just runs like shit. Now, I use this stuff for everything. I added this to all my fuel for every every gasoline-powered equipment I have, which is kind of limited because I've only got a lawnmower and a weed whacker that runs on. That's actually a four-stroke weed whacker. Um, I use this in all my fuel. So I mix a little bit of this in any any gallon of fuel. Like I add about I believe one ounce of sea foam to every gallon of fuel, or maybe it's either one ounce or two ounces. I don't remember now, but I use this quite a lot. Now, most people use it just for engines that run like crap, but I actually would recommend using this for any engine that runs fine it's the way it is to prevent it from running like crap because it's just, it's it's so great for the engine. So that's that stuff. And now to the actual generator, which you probably have seen in another video of mine, but I didn't really go too much in depth about it because it was more of a siren test video and not exactly much about the generator. But I got this generator for Christmas from my grandmother, and um, I love it. I absolutely love it. If you want a small generator for the cheap that you can rely on whenever you need to, I would definitely go with this generator. I mean, the Hondas are okay. They're nice, compact. They're really freaking quiet, but they're, the price is insane. And I mean, for 900 watts, and it's only about $89 if you get a coupon with it, it's... you. you you can't beat that. That's just, that's amazing. Now, this this uh, fuel tank, I believe, holds about 1.1 1, 1. 1 gallons, something like that. Yeah, 1.1 1. 1 gallons, it says right there. Um, and it lasts forever, I swear. I filled this thing up Christmas Day when I got it, just to test it out and break it in. And I've been using it almost like non-stop ever since Christmas, and I still haven't emptied the tank. Like... The tank's pretty low as of right now. But I haven't emptied it. So... That's just... That's pretty damn awesome when it comes to fuel economy. And I've been using that siren on and off the entire time. I mean, that's it's that siren right there. So... That's just... That's amazing. And it's really cheap, as I said before. It's only about $89 if you get the coupon or you go to the sidewalk sale. So definitely pick it up. It's great for emergencies if you live in a place that's kind of prone to losing power. Um, 
which is okay because I guess Glendale isn't really used to losing power, but it's always nice to have. And I mean, like I go out on this cart all the time and usually bring sirens and stuff, so I need to be able to power them out here. And having a total battery and an inverter isn't exactly the best thing because the inverter doesn't put out pure sine wave, it puts out modified sine. So as I showed before in a different video, it's not a nice natural curve, it's digital. So it doesn't work very well with devices such as the horns that I have, which need to have a pure sine input to actually uh, operate correctly and make the right tone and sound they need to. And also with motors, because the the motor in that Model D doesn't really like modified sign either. It just runs so slow and it's just really underpowered. So, yeah guys. When it comes to two-stroke fuels and additives, I use all of these, as you see right here. I mean, like, I use these on every other two-stroke device I have, like such as chainsaws. Like, I've always used Promix, and I've always used the Bridge and Stratton fuel stabilizer. I've only recently gotten into using Seafoam in my devices, but as I said, these these things are great. Go with Promix oil for your two-stroke equipment, and definitely add a little bit of this to your equipment as well. This says it has a fuel stabilizer in it too already, but I personally do not trust that really. So, yeah, bit of a weird video today. I'm sorry I haven't done a review on the generator yet, but that'll be coming out soon. So thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Don't need to do that stuff, but it helped me out a lot. And I will see you in the next video.